Would you rather fight 100 cat-sized Crees or one large Cree-sized fluke and cat? I'd do the little Crees. Seems easier. 100 cat-sized Crees. Uh, a huge cat, no, just I'm not, not particularly a cat person. <laughs> I'm the best of times, so no. Cree-sized flurkin cat because they can, they're not always flurkins. Would you rather communicate only through pager for a year or use a giant heavy 90s mobile for the rest of your life? Pager. Um, love a pager, love just that, you know, yeah. Pager, because I like the idea of it, I think they, they were pretty cool. Would you rather work in Blockbuster or as an agent of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Blockbuster? Yeah, access to all those films, yeah, yeah. Oh, the latter of, yeah, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s amazing, so of course, yeah, who wouldn't want to? Would you rather spend a day playing pinball or at a cyber cafe? Pinball. We actually did play pinball uh, in between takes on set. We got quite competitive, pinball and also like there was a Pac-Man machine, um, we had all the kind of that memorabilia. Cyber cafe, because pinball's cool, but I think I might get bored of it after a while. Would you rather wear baggy skater jeans or floppy hair curtains like Nick Carter from Backstreet Boys? Skater jeans, baggy skater jeans, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Um, baggy skater jeans, because they're free and you can move in them and do things. Would you rather wait ages for a computer to load anything or have it work as quick as now but constantly crashing? Uh, neither. They both sound really annoying. <laughs> uh, we're so impatient, aren't we, nowadays? We want everything to just work like that. <laughs> wait ages for my computer to load. You know that sound of like Wi-Fi going? I, I, I miss those. I miss those sounds. They were comforting sounds to me. I think for me, the things that were the funniest was just Ben in between takes and that scroll outfit dancing. He would dance and sing in between, in between takes. Oh, it depended on his mood. Yeah, a lot of 70s actually, a lot of disco. There was definitely some of us that were bopping with him. I feel like I was included in that. Maybe those were my, my days off when I didn't know it was happening. Dancing, you know what? I did a little bit of dancing when Ben Mendelssohn was bringing in like a speaker. He'd come in with the speaker like all like 80s on his shoulder and I'll just be all, do, like play like Dizzy Rascal and stuff, which is pretty cool. Cause it's kind of Ben having his like little moment and I'm like, I don't know if we're gonna, where, forget it. I'm just gonna go and get involved. There was a particular day where all of Star Force, we were doing a scene on our ship, the Helion and Jude had to make this kind of very, you know, authoritative speech uh, with kind of, arm motions, but the, the suits that we're in are kind of squeaky. So every time he'd say his line and then like kind of point and it would squeak, I, mean, I just lost it. And once I lose it, that's it. And then Brie went off and then we just couldn't hold it together. And Jude actually made me turn around and face the wall like I was a naughty child. <laughs> so I wasn't looking at him during the scene. Anyway, that was fun. It's like, but yeah. <laughs> we laughed at each other, but also kind of you know, commiserate each other, like compared notes every day as to which bits were hurting. I mean, they were, it was kind of agony in them, you know, day after day. They look great, but they are so restrictive. Um, and, you know, it takes half an hour to get out of them to it's multiple different parts as well. You need like two people to help you to go to the loo. It's like a half hour job. So you had to coordinate your bathroom breaks. It was just, it was a whole thing. All of the banter we had in between like scenes, just everything from like falling over to being like, I'm picturing this creature in the green screen, but can I actually see it? Just literally just walking and tripping. Nothing's there, it's just me just tripping over myself. I think it'd be kind of fun to have a Captain America dinner. You know, captain to captain. Oh, Thor? Yeah, come on. I just think he'd be great fun. Also, Chris Hemsworth, come on. I'll pick Goose, that would be interesting. See when he decides to show us true colors. Definitely choose Captain Marvel. I'm not just saying that. She's the power, most powerful one. So if you're gonna go for any, I think you want to be the one that can do anything. Invisibility, because I just want to be able to disappear. <laughs> It'd be fun. Good people watching. Maybe the power to control the climate. Therefore, being able to save uh, civilization and the earth. <laughs> I would either fly or teleport. Um, through time, or I would go invisible. I think that would be pretty cool. Yeah, very, very easy to get around, I think. Invisible and teleport at the same time, through eras. 
Well, it was nine months of training and I just like pushed myself as far as I could. I just wanted to see how much I could accomplish in that time and I was able to get pretty strong. My favorite was definitely judo and that's something that I'll keep up. I mean, boxing too. I, I really love boxing a lot, but judo is like a different kind of mental challenge. Well, some of it we did actually when the train was moving and some of it was when it was standing still. And yeah, it is moments like that they are super cozy because you know, we've got a whole camera department and a sound department and people are kind of like tucked in and hiding behind chairs and things. I just think we need to keep talking about it. I mean, for me, it's just, I'm still at the point where I'm still listening to the conversation, trying to gain as much information as possible so that we can figure out what that next step is. I don't have a favorite thing, I just love him. We just love each other. So it's like I get to go to work and travel around the world with my best friend, it's the best. Who he is in interviews, who he is out in the public, is it's there's no act, he just is who he is. And he's super funny and a great singer.